at some point, every city girl is going to need help beyond anybody around them. Mm. They gonna need some type of soul, mental help. That even you can get the best therapist. God is going to make sure he's needed, yo. I'm trying not to bang yes. your, your table. <laughs> he's a jealous guy, yo. He yeah. don't play. He don't play. Nobody else getting his shine. He don't play. Nobody else getting. So you gonna blow up. You gonna be a city girl. You gonna be the hottest. You gonna be at eh, at eh, until something hits your life that's gonna make you fold your hands and seek something higher mm -hmm. than anybody you know. So God makes himself relevant just through storms. And he don't like causing them, but he allows them to be relevant. This is so good right now. They, they, Jesus said, go to the other side. And the disciples were going on the boat to the other side. And a storm comes. It's like we obeying Jesus and we went right into a storm. Mm -hmm. But then Jesus come walking on the water. Yes. And then Peter, you know, walks on the water with him. God sent them into a storm just to show him another side of himself. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes storms come to reveal him in another way. So even in the city girl world and in all this crazy and the baddies, you know, all, you know, all that stuff, mm -hmm. you know, my, my daughters be watching it sometimes. Be like, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's entertainment, right? Are y'all not becoming this? So in that type of world, in their real lives off camera, something is hitting them. And even on camera, mm -hmm. you see like, man, they, they, they're they going to need the help and the strength and the wisdom of the Lord whether they realize that now or later I think we're all going to come to that the Bible says every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord I just rather do it now mm. I'm going to raise my hand first yes, sir. <laughs> so city girl is that a defined term help so I just well, be oh, well, well I think I think the I think the group is a, um, a, a model for the women that Look up to them, but oh, that, that's okay. but that's a lifestyle that they presented, but they just got the name of it. Who who who? who when you say they, who's they? City girls. Uh, oh, okay, so girls. yeah. Okay, okay I'm not familiar with them. girls. Yeah, so they're they're. Um, <laughs> I think they're. Where are they out of? Is Miami. 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 So okay. it's it's kind of like um, a lot of girls have adopted. Not they, they had it already, but I'm saying like it's it's kind of um, you know, it's promoting a, yeah, this yeah, yeah. like street. You know, I'm out here lifestyle, <laughs> yeah. and um. I guess Hit they were fans, asking. <laughs> I'm trying to see thoughts. Huh? thoughts. Yeah, got so, it. So, yeah. Thanks, That's all you need. That's all I need to hear. Okay, got it. Trap so, what do you okay. think, Jeremiah? <laughs> no, I, I think it, it was interesting when I saw that because I was like, "Oh, he about to catch some heat." Because in the comments, they, you know, the first comments was like, "What about the men, though? What about the men? The men got to do it right." And I and I think and I, my question was like, "Why she asked him that?" But at the same time, somebody needed to hear that. And um, yeah, man, I. I think that lifestyle if people I think people celebrate it and I think more and more more of them are going to regret it later. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like and, I, and no doubt yeah, cuz cuz yeah. you're starting to see God shifting in people's lives or God is like really bringing people out of stuff and you're hearing testimonies of people saying, "Man, I was doing this mm -hmm. doing it, and the Lord just took and I and you know what I mean? So, I think it's glamour because it looks glamorous is on it's on a shade room, is on baller, is on all these gotcha. platforms. And it's appealing to young ladies, older mm. women too, but mm. it's appealing to them because it's an easy lifestyle. You gotcha. know what I mean? And it, and it really, at times, is a disguise of prostitution. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So, but at the same time, it's like, it's going to lead you down to a, a destruction, a path of destruction. Yeah. Yeah. And that's for a man too. Like a man that's living that fast life, whatever, it's going to lead you down to mm -hmm. a path of destruction. Yeah. I think it all comes with um, age, right? You know, when you're young, you... You, you 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 have all this energy, right? You have all these endless possibilities, but as you get older, those possibilities become limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so now you have to now you have to think different. Like, okay, I only got, you know, twenty years left, thirty years left, yeah. fifty years left. So what am I gonna do in that fifty years, yeah. right? Yeah. And so when I think even when I think of the city girls, or when I think of anybody, they all believers. Mm. Realistically, because what's the first thing they do when they go to the award show? I like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I like to thank God. <laughs> I like to thank you know what I'm saying. But then they still continue to be ratchet, yeah. right? But yeah. I just think everybody has God in them, and eventually that you know that awakens as you get older because mm -hmm. you run out of possibilities and opportunities. Man, I wish I wish I could 200 agree with that. Like <laughs> I would love to. Like like that age brings wisdom and change. But I think you're gonna have some city aunts and some city grandmas. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. You do. Right now, yeah. you still do. Yeah. I agree with with what he said when he said that everybody's gonna come to a breaking point. Right. And your storm, your storm may be the thing that draws you closer because they all 
go through something. We all go through something. You know, I think about that a lot when you're talking about death, right? Mm -hmm. um, and how it changes people, you know? Yeah. Um, so I feel like, yeah, there's going to be a point where everybody's going to uh, take that. Like what we, we were talking about last week when we were talking about, um, uh, what's her name? Um, that says she gets visited by demons at night. Oh, yeah. Sweetie. 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 Yeah. She vi yeah. visited by demons at night, but you turn on gospel music to go to sleep. Yeah. Like, eventually that's got to take hold where you look up and you're like... But even Farrakhan asked, you know, cried out for Jesus on his deathbed, right? I mean, mm, so okay. the, the, the thing I would ask City Girls <laughs> to think about is we all are stacking repentance debt until we we meet Christ and accept him. Yeah. How much debt do you want to have? Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. That, part, that, yeah. That repentance debt is, man, when you meet Christ and go through that process of change yeah. and you will have your opportunity to meet Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah I think it's true that they'll have an opportunity where God confronts them. I I think what we worry about though is all the damage that happens until then. Yeah. Like you are you have a microphone sure. and you're able to spread this poison to the world, and a lot of young girls will grow up yes. thinking you are the model they need to follow. Mm -hmm. So what do you do until then? Like what do you do when they are spewing this stuff and and the world allows them to spew this this uh, attitude to kids? Um, I I hope they find Jesus a real way one day. But mm -hmm. what are we supposed to do with all the nonsense they throw out in the world? Until yeah, I promote it. See, the problem is it's being promoted through radio, it's being promoted through television, it's being promoted through sources that people find deem relevant as news to them or the right. to get the updated you know, content and it all boils down to, you know, if you can change that and not highlight it, then you might have a chance. Yeah. But it's so highlighted because it's making money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And even with the city girls, city girls, the the, the lifestyle is making money for them. Yeah. It ain't even making money for other city girls. That's yeah. the cold yeah. part. You know what I'm saying? But it's making money for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I That's think too good. what we do is kind of back to point one discussion. The more we link up and amplify Holy Girls and Child Like Cece and uh, Wande yeah. and Portia Love, we've got to, we can't let Satan be the prince of the air. Wow. Right. We yeah. got to continue to amplify our platforms and, and put out equally, if not stronger voice yep. yeah. for, yeah. for yeah. girls yeah. to yeah. see. 